If you ever wanted to be able to SSH into your Synology NAS, I'm going to show you how to do that right now on this Tech Support Tuesday. Let's get started. First, you're going to want to log directly into your Synology first, then go into the control panel. And then under connectivity, there is terminal and SNMP. You want to go ahead and check this box right here to enable the SSH service Then click on apply. And then next, you'll want to download a program like PuTTY or Mobile Xterm. Now you can get PuTTY at PuTTY.org. Click on the download PuTTY here and get the latest version for the architecture of the chip that you are running on. Once you have PuTTY installed, you'll just type in the IP address of your NAS and hit open. Now the first time that you connect, it's going to actually prompt you with a security alert. And this is because you don't have the SSH key or the fingerprint of the server that you're connecting to stored on your machine yet as a trusted host. We're gonna go ahead and click on accept. And now it'll store that. Now you type in your username and password, and now you are logged in directly on the machine using SSH. Now, if I was going to run sudo, which is short for super user do, and then space, SU for switch user space tack hyphen or dash, whatever you want to call that. Hit enter or return and then type in your password. Helps if I type in my password correctly. There we go. So now I am root instead of the previous user. Now please be very careful because anything that you do directly on the NAS over SSH, A, Synology does not support you doing. So if you screw something up, you're pretty much on your own. So only do this at your own risk. Now, you can run some commands on here like hstop to go ahead and see what is actually running directly on the NAS. So that's kind of cool. Uh, you can also do a, say like disk free tag h for human readable and see what kind of space is available. I'm not gonna get really much into this because it is uh, totally unsupported. But if this is something you want to learn about, go ahead and drop a comment down below if you wanna learn about some of the unsupported things you can do on a Synology, and maybe I'll make a video on that. But of course, as always, if you do anything like this, it is at your own risk, and I'll catch you in the next one. Subscribe.